I want to start by thanking the good gentle lady from the 34th, excuse me, the 43rd legislative district and the good gentleman from the 3rd, the 11th, and the 49th, who have been such a great team to work on this budget with. They're so committed to the people of Washington State. But I also want to thank the staff for their hundreds of hours of work while we made complex decisions over the past months. And while we're excited to see hospitalizations and COVID cases dramatically lowered over the past weeks, the impacts of the pandemic continue to be felt. We've made meaningful investments that will help keep many families from undue economic hardship. We, as we all transition to our new norm, this budget centers the very people in this pandemic that are hurt the most. Similar to last year, we continue to invest in our most vulnerable children, our elders, and our businesses. This is what equity is. It's lifting up and investing more in those that are the furthest from recovery and those that have the most to lose. Now we have tough decisions to make, but that's what's going to get us to the point of full recovery. We made decisions to support people right now and we invest in programs and structural change that prepare us for the future. We do this by committing investments in basic necessities like raising wages and investing in local suppliers, and shoring up our critical feeding programs. We also provide electricity and water and broadband utility assistance. We believe that every parent works hard because they believe that they want a better life for their children, their loved ones. That compelled us to continue in historic investments in such as childcare and early learning, schools, and career readiness. The workforce shortage isn't going to be something that we're gonna solve in one year, but we wanna partner with those robust efforts in job training and expanding programs that we know already work. We also know that an extra hand to help our students finish their degree and enter the workforce works. These are smart investments. Climate related natural disasters impact every corner of the state, whether it's smoke from the fires or more recently damage caused by flooding. And that's why we invest by improving air quality healthier building infrastructure, and affordable housing. To wrap up, this is a responsible and necessary budget. And if we're going to ensure that we have economic opportunity for everyone in our community, small, small businesses and workers, then this is a great start to turn the corner from the pandemic. Finally, we leave a healthy fiscal balance and we're ready for the next challenges and opportunities that come our way. Please join me in voting yes for this budget.